2619 gives us uh, the following circuit. Got a 90 volt battery down here. And then we come up to a, resist, uh, a uh, network of capacitors. It looks like that. And the values are 3, 6, 2, and 4. And those are all in microfarads. So there are several questions. Uh, the first question is simply, uh, what is the equivalent capacitance of this whole thing? So to get that, you need to first realize that, um, that this is basically equal to this circuit. That is to say, we can add these two as an equivalent capacitor, and these two as an equivalent capacitor, and draw it like that. And that's equal, basically, to this. You can treat the thing ultimately as having one, one capacitance. So if we call this the equivalent capacitance 1, and this the equivalent capacitance 2, and this we'll call this the total equivalent capacitance. And we'll just go through for part A and figure out what the values of these are. All right. So let's see. Here we're adding uh, 3 and 6 in um, series. So what does that mean? That means 1 over C EQ1. Equals 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6 which equals, that's 2 over 6 plus 1 is 3 over 6. So C EQ1 equals 2. Again, all microfarads. Uh, 1 over C EQ2 equals 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4, which equals 2 over 4 plus 1 is 3 over 4. C EQ2 equals 1.33. Okay. And then CEQ, the total equivalent capacitance, is these two in parallel. And when they're in parallel, you just add them. So the total equivalent capacitance, the answer to part A, is 3.33. B asks for the charge on each capacitor. So to figure out the charge, we would want to take a step forward where we treated these each as in one equivalent capacitance, CEQ1 and CEQ2. Because if this were just one capacitor, we would have it, uh, we'd have 90 volts across it. Because right? this, anywhere we're going along metal wire, 90 volts, 90 volts, 90 volts, here we're at 90 volts, and here's zero, 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 here we're at zero. So we think of this as one capacitor. It has 90 volts. And if we know the capacitance and the voltage, we can get the charge. So let's think back. The equivalent capacitance of this, if you think of it as one capacitor, was 2 microfarads. So um, uh, capacitance 2 microfarads times 90 volts is what? 180 microcoulombs. So farads would be cool. So 180 microcoulombs. So that's the total charge that would go on this equivalent uh, capacitor, if we thought of this as one capacitor, which basically means 180 microcoulombs would charge each plate. Well, you'll get the same amount on each one of these two capacitors. 180 coulombs will go here, and minus 180 over here, which means the center part has to split, and 180 microcoulombs goes each way. So the charge on the three is 180 microcoulombs, and the charge on 6 is 180 microcoulombs. And now if we do the exact same thing uh, with this one, we say this one was 1.33 microfarads times 90, oops, times 90 volts. 
that's 90 plus 30, 90 is 30, that's 120 microcoulombs. All right. And again, if 120 microcoulombs builds up here, then you get uh, minus 120 here, and the middle part that's neutral then separates to give you minus 120 here, plus 120 there. So each of these two gets 120. Q2. And Q4. Uh, and that's the answer to part B. And now part C asks for the voltage across each capacitor. And now we're in the fortunate position of knowing the capacitance and the charge. So the voltage is straightforward. Uh, CV equals Q, so V equals Q over C. So let's see, for the three microfarad ones, Q, uh, V3, Q3, what was it? It was 180 microcoulombs was the uh, charge on that one, and it's three microfarads. And the micros cancel, it's 60 volts. 60 volts there. V of the 6 was, what was the charge? That was also 180 microcoulombs. And the capacitance is 6 microfarads, 30 volts. And you can stop and check your work and make sure you dropped 30 volts here, you dropped, I'm sorry, you dropped 60 volts here, 30 volts here for a total drop of 90 volts. And we can keep going. Uh, the voltage drop across the two microfarad was the charge on these two, what was the 120 microcoulomb over 2 microfarad, also 60 volts. And then the voltage drop across 4 was 120 microcoulombs. Hopefully you see the pattern emerging for microfarads. 30 volts. And again, we drop 60 and then we drop 30, um, and it totals up to 90. That's it.